don't talk about the phone don't talk about anything mm. about me and you tuna how are you tunaendelea how are you able to how is our sexual life mm. am i satisfying you no you are coming very fast and when i tell you to do this you don't want a romance mm. so me i wonder ikoni sex in yako you know you talk about me what i feel mm. you get the point eh? It's another day again. We are happy to be here again to discuss issues affecting our marriages. And today we want to discuss a very sensitive topic that is affecting our marriages, either positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Marriages are failing because we do not know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. On the panel today we have our parents, the Twatwa couple, and my beautiful wife, mm -hmm. the wife of my youth. <laughs> so welcome all. <laughs> Let us dive into this topic of communication. Communication. Yes. <laughs> they say communication mm -hmm. is to marriage mm -hmm. what blood is to the body. Wow. Mm -hmm. I need to know that. The reason why my wife and I mm. we are living together mm. it is because many years ago mm. we spoke to one another mm -hmm. and I told her how much I love her mm -hmm. and she responded. And we kept on talking every now and then. Mm -hmm. In fact, I never wanted to see anybody in between <laughs> our communication. Mm -hmm. I was longing to hear her voice. Mm -hmm. She was longing to hear my voice. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Texting one another, mm -hmm. calling one another. Mm -hmm. And that kept our love a frame, mm -hmm. burning. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know uh, the devil that comes after people get married. Mm. You find that now, one partner will go mute, mwingina naongea, mwingina ataki kuongea. And we start now talking uh, with the signs and uh, so many other ways, mm. which is a very long way to mm. do that. Mm -hmm. I'm just remembering, mm. for, for, for us to have a relationship with God, mm. there was communication mm -hmm. or there must be communication yes. yes see there's no way you can talk about that you've got a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and there's no communication exactly mm -hmm. actually prayer is communication with god mm -hmm. and it's a two-way traffic yeah. and so if any couple will have a healthy marriage mm -hmm. they must learn to communicate with one another mm -hmm. on a daily basis mm -hmm. on an hourly basis mm -hmm. Maybe every second will not be possible, <laughs> but I'm saying yeah. as many times as much as mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. But when people stop communicating mm -hmm. and they take communication for granted, mm -hmm. that's where the enemy comes in. Yeah. And my wife always says something very, very important. Mm -hmm. That uh, in this world, mm -hmm. there is no room for vacuum. Mm -hmm. If you don't mm -hmm. fill in that space mm -hmm. somebody or something else will feel will feel in mm -hmm. and therefore couples must learn the art of communication mm -hmm. the importance of communication mm -hmm. there's something very very important mm -hmm. but most of the time people take this for granted mm -hmm. yes. before mom comes in and my wife comes and let boys rule fast mm -hmm. uh, 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 you've said that just as blood is, is for the, the body, body mm -hmm. so is communication to marriage yes and you've said even as between us and God, there mm. is prayer. Exactly. And even God himself says that pray without ceasing. Mm. So continue talking without exactly. stopping. The, the moment you cease, yes. then something has happened that exactly. is going to affect us. Mm. Exactly. And also I, used, I, I, I always use a, an example in my wife that mm. you see how a bicycle is always in the motion. Mm. You can't put your hand in between mm. when it's in motion. Mm. Wow. But the moment it stops, you can yes. put your hand, yes. you can pray. But if it's, it's in motion, it yes. can chop off your fingers. Exactly. So I think communication and also prayer in mm. marriage, the more you communicate, the more even the devil cannot come in your mm. marriage. Very but the moment true. you come, you become silent mm. and then you stop communication, yes. you have opened so many loopholes yes. for mm. the devil to come in your marriage mm. and whatever he wants. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Wow, you guys are so deep. I'm actually like, I'm in a class or something. Thing. Yes. So in in short, we are they are saying yeah. the healthier the marriage, the more the communication. Yeah. Or wow. the more the communication, the, the healthier, healthier the, the marriage. marriage. Mm. The marriage that people don't talk, mm. the the more quieter the marriage, 
the more lifeless it is. Mm -hmm. We can say that to put mm -hmm. it in a simple way. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think that maybe mm -hmm. the issue of people not having uh, enough communication mm -hmm. either with themselves or with uh, with God, mm. as you guys are trying to explain, mm. is because of I think things like distraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are so distracted. People are so engaged with day-to-day -day lives that mm -hmm. we don't have time for important things, things that really, really matter, like our spouses. Mm -hmm. We don't have that time to even say, "Hi, darling, how is you? How is the office work going on? Mm -hmm. You are busy either with the kids or with the Telemundo or with your business, and that is kind of creating a challenge." I had, I had, mm -hmm. a, I had a friend of mine, a lady. Yes, uh, the husband was working in Garissa, I think, and mm. she's in Kakamega. Mm. So I was asking her, Muzali Fika Salama? Kasama, mm. no, he hasn't told me, but because he's talented, means I'll Fika poor. And that was like a month since he left. So oh, right. the, man, the husband works in Garissa, <laughs> and she's in Kakamega. He says he hasn't called, he mm. hasn't come here, but as long as I always see him online, mm. it means I'll Fika poor. Mm. So that means you can stay a whole month without asking, just assuming. You see, if there was no communication, then we will have married prophets or angels. Nakatuna, and then she says, he wants to gali, and then he brings. Mm, you look at me, now he wants me to brush his shoes. You look at it, now he wants. You see, that's why God never made us prophets or angels, mm -hmm. so that we must say, however small something is, you must say, can you help me, give me this, can I do this, so that we may be able to, to communicate. Yes, yes. I think uh, mm -hmm. one of the greatest challenge of communication today, mm -hmm. it is, um, we, are, we are living in an advanced world, mm -hmm. whereby now you find that uh, most of the people, mm -hmm. they, 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 they spend a lot of their time with either their laptop mm -hmm. or the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. And, uh, or you are in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, you are just uh, doing something by yourself. Mm -hmm. The things that people are doing today, mm -hmm. somehow you can be able to spend a whole day with yourself mm -hmm. without uh, talking to anybody, but you're talking to a gadget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or listening <laughs> or listening to gadgets mm -hmm. and, and, and you find that uh, these are some of the things that have destroyed our relationships mm -hmm. our boarding mm -hmm. and uh, people are no longer together mm -hmm. uh, when they go out there they are busy working and doing when they come home they are on the phones they are on uh, you know all these kind of things mm -hmm. and because of that you find that uh, uh, couples don't have adequate time mm -hmm. to share with one another, mm -hmm. to share their love feeling, mm -hmm. you know, to give feedback how the day was, mm -hmm. to be able to um, get to know what is happening with your spouse. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you find that uh, because of that we give the enemy an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And that does not happen all the time because when I go out to fight, I'm talking so much with my friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When she go out, she'll talk so much with her friends. Oh, yes. But when we come in the house, it's like these people, they, 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 are, they are not together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they are struggling to live together. Mm -hmm. And that's a trick of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because when communication uh, reduces, as she is saying, mm -hmm. the enemy will come in. Yes. And when the enemy come in, he will speak you know, things that you never wanted even to hear mm -hmm. in the first place. Couples must and ever, mm -hmm. no matter um, uh, what is happening with them, they strive to make sure that they are sharing with one another. Mm -hmm. They are talking to one another, yeah. you know? Yeah. They are giving each other time so that their marriage can grow and they're able to develop and go to the next level. Wow. wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you so much. I am just learning yeah. from yeah. the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the major cause of so many conflicts that we have mm -hmm. in marriages because we weren't taught the importance of communication. Mm -hmm. And so we tend to think that even if I keep quiet, yeah. my husband, my wife should understand that I am stressed. Mm -hmm. But it's important for us to know, viewers, that nobody is your mind reader. Mm 
Mm. Uh, nobody can get into your in your thought line, your emotional mm. line, and uh, get into your willpower to, to know what you are thinking. Mm. You've got to speak it out to your partner so that they can know that you are upset, you are agitated, mm. you are pleased, mm. you are you are you are excited, you are elated. All these things must be expressed through words. And you mm. see, uh, they say that communication non-verbal, non-verbal mm. communication speaks ninety percent. Yeah. Wow. The 10% is spoken by words. Mm -hmm. So couples uh, begin to destroy their communication through non-verbal communication. Wow. Yeah, you, you are frown, you look mm. moodless, you don't want to talk. Yeah. And someone, mm. you know, you, you are saying you are avoiding the other person and mm. someone can tell. Utaki mm. kuniongereshea. So we begin with non-verbal communication. Mm. Then when you are provoked and asked, what's the pro that's when now you shout out. Mm. And so you find now it puts fear among mm. a husband and a wife because you don't want this fight. Because mm. at the end of the day when you fight, the, past, the place that suffers most is the bed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So most men opt to to play it cool because uh, if, if, if paradventure he asks the wife and commotion goes to, elates to another level goes mm. to another level he will be denied sex so they opt to keep quiet mm. for the sake of having sex communication mm. but it's important for us to know that communication is very important mm -hmm. as as pastor monen has said in salanos mm -hmm. because even god himself he had to speak what he wants what he expects of us as humans mm. you know to him if he has not stipulated what he really wants from uh, what he wants from us by his word mm. would never have known what god loves and what god hates mm. you get that mm. eh? so communication if god being who he is mm. the omnipresent the omniscient mm. the omnipotent god mm. could speak to human beings mm. and tell them his thoughts by writing the word of god mm. god allowing the holy spirit to write the word of god equally even us we must learn to communicate mm. and i want to say that uh, uh, communication is sharing communication yeah. is uh, speaking to one another and making sure that your partner understands uh, and you see things from their point of view mm. wow. it, yeah because the challenge that comes in when communication in marriage and some of these barriers is when you are listening to answer mm. you know you, you are talking with your husband mm. but instead of or your wife but instead of understanding where are they coming from mm. what exactly is in their mind mm. what is this point they are trying to explain to you we are quick to think uh, what do I why do I, what mm -hmm. do I answer him? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it interferes. You keep on, your communication is not effective. Yeah, it's because, not flowing. And the other way, mm -hmm. when, the, other, when you, the man speaks, the wife is also thinking, what will I answer him? How mm -hmm. to attack. How to, yeah, to mm -hmm. attack back. And it's more centered on self. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually centered of self, on, on self. So mm -hmm. you find even the things that a husband doesn't want to communicate and a wife doesn't want to communicate mm -hmm. is because they feel they are not hard. Mm -hmm. And if they are hard, they were misunderstood. Mm -hmm. So it brings a lot of conflict and it brings a lot of tension in the house mm. because you don't know whether you are together you don't know whether what you are planning mm. you see this world is controlled by words mm -hmm. the reason why we are here is because we talked to each other mm -hmm. hi are we going to have a show today yes mm -hmm. what time are we meeting uh, when are we beginning mm -hmm. who do we need so we, we are all a product of communication and as pastor monene has said mm -hmm. that the reason that what made you and your wife and mm -hmm. your husband mm -hmm. to to begin the journey of marriage together is because you communicated. Mm -hmm. If you stayed with your feelings of love within mm -hmm. you, you would not have known that you love him. Exactly. But because of expressing and, and making sure that you understood and the other person was able to get the message, mm -hmm. the relationship began. Mm -hmm. And that's why we say the highest torture in marriage is emotional torture. It's not emotional even the physical torture. torture. Emotional torture. Wow. Emotional torture. When mm -hmm. someone tortures you through mm -hmm. emotional torture is the worst torture in marriage. Yeah. When someone doesn't talk to you, doesn't give you his thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't tell you what he's planning, uh, ignores you, mm -hmm. isolates you, mm -hmm. you know, uh, does things by his own. That's the worst thing. Mm -hmm. You know, even more than beating. Yeah. Okay, we are not saying men and, and women to be beaten, but emotional torture is so is so mm. serious because it is the emotional part that that communicates first mm. uh, before words comes out. Mm. And so you find there in marriage there are three levels of communication. Mm -hmm. Number one, as a husband and a wife, you first of all talk about what is happening, mm -hmm. what is happening in general. Mm. Mm. It's raining. 
mm. eh, Mombasa is too much, eh, Nairobi, <laughs> you know, economy, mm. yeah. you know, mm. what is happening, general, yeah. eh, economy, meenda, yunga, imepanda, all those things. You, the first information is yeah. to know the general information of what is happening in your surrounding, uh, in the country, you know, now the world has become a global village. Mm. You're able to understand what has happened to another nation if it's something like now we know Israel and Hamas there because of mm. because of the information that we are mm. getting then the next level is talking about things and people things mm. about my mom about a building mm. about a shopping mm -hmm. about the shoes you know about uh, about a, a project you talk about mm. things and the people and people yeah. people people involves even your children are part of the, mm. the second level of communication mm. so your children you talk about them their education how they are they are not doing well or how they are doing well what you need to improve next year are we going to take them to the same school are we changing them that's about people and things mm. then the, the 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 most important communication that keeps a marriage together mm -hmm. it is when a couple reaches to a level whereby mm -hmm. they can speak about their own feelings to one another wow. mm. okay. so we are not talking about wow. any person mm. and we are not talking about anything mm. it is me and you <laughs> and in our communication mm. We communicate so much about feelings. Mm -hmm. We communicate about my feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the way you shout at me. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way your tone is so commanding. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way you swing and you go. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way you leave me sometimes when I'm waiting uh, for you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the way you sneer. Mm -hmm. Now, those are all about feelings. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. feelings are in the, are the, are in the emotional womb, mm -hmm. and the emotional womb is what keeps marriage moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, a couple must endeavor every day to make sure that you communicate from the emotional womb, mm -hmm. the feelings. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about the phone, don't talk about anything mm -hmm. about me and you. How are we able to, how is our sexual life? Mm -hmm. Am I satisfying you? No, you are coming very fast. And when I tell you to do this, you don't want romance. Mm -hmm. So me, I wonder, when is sex in Yako? You know, you talk about me, what I feel. Mm -hmm. You get the point. Eh? But most of the times, so we, we ignore know all this and it is what keeps marriage mm -hmm. the third level now which is now the me and you are about feelings mm -hmm. we concentrate on happenings things and the people mm -hmm. so if you find yourself talking so much about what is happening in the country what is happening in the church mm -hmm. what is happening in the political arena but, and talking about things and the new car and whoever did and you don't talk about feelings you guys are faking mm -hmm. and soon and very wow. soon you will actually separate divorce and infidelity will come in mm -hmm. because already there is a gap I, I, wow. like, I like i like what you just said eh? mm -hmm. you've really highlighted something very important you yes. said that 90 percent of communication is uh, non-verbal mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the highest level of communication is when you can talk now about yourselves mm -hmm. so i think also the best a person can do mm -hmm. For their partner, I, I, with regards to what you're saying, yes. is creating a safe space yes. for that communication, mm -hmm. so that when they come with an issue that we are talking mm. about myself and mm. how I feel, mm. the space is is respectful, yes, and also the space is a space where you can listen. You are detached from whatever is engaging you. If mm -hmm. it is a laptop, you stop and you listen to your partner mm -hmm. and the nonverbal aspect of it that you highlighted mm -hmm. is now about the tone mm -hmm. things like the tone mm -hmm. things like your mood Yelling, yeah shouting, yet shouting screaming mm -hmm. yeah and banging. i've just realized mm -hmm. and i thank you for bringing out that one mm -hmm. that my husband and i have gone deeper into mm -hmm. our communication because we were time even we are communicating our traumas mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were communicating our, our childhood experiences and relating them to now. Mm -hmm. And we've reached a point, but it comes over time, mm -hmm. yes. you gain emotional maturity. Mm -hmm. Because without emotional maturity, you, go, ah, me, 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 me. you do think so, you are accusing me. So you become very like you are defending something. Mm -hmm. But now when your guts are down, you're like, this is a marriage we are working out, yeah. and it's not about me winning. Mm. And if you have a challenge in the process of the journey, I'm ready to listen. Mm. And I really wanted to thank you, my, la my husband. He's really, I'm not seeing because of the camera. Mm. Salano creates a safe space for me. Wow. Thank you. 
Not only even when I'm feeling down or something, when mm. I just want to say anything, I come to him. I'm frustrated with something outside there. I come to him. Where are wow. you, darling? Just come and see. Now see. And then he listens and tells you, just relax. It will just calm down. Wow. And if you tell him, darling, do you remember this time when this and this happened? It affected me in this way. He never judges you. He creates that space. And I want God to bless you for me. Amen. Wow. Because you are a good man. I didn't wow. Know that. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. I think we need to learn from, from him because one of the greatest um, uh, trauma so much to a woman is when your husband does not listen to you. And I think it's something that men, they don't do it deliberately. It's because they have never learned the art. Yeah. A woman wants, especially being your wife, she needs to be listened to. Yeah. Even when you don't understand, just listen, listen and then tell her. But I tend to think, my wife, I don't think this thing is permanent. Yeah. It's just now that we are struggling. In the next few years, the Lord will come through for you. Yes. And you know why? The reason why you are going through this, you know, God has really endorsed you. God has really given you this. Mm -hmm. Men need it because most of the reasons why women have a lot of anger issues, mm -hmm. they have a lot of um, bitterness, is because they were not listened. They wanted to vent out, mm -hmm. but they, they, they wanted a safe place, as you have said. Mm -hmm. And the safe place cannot be the neighbors. Mm -hmm. The safe place may not be the relatives. Mm -hmm. The safe place may not be in the church. Mm -hmm. So the safe place would be to your partner but now this partner seems like you are you you, you, you are disturbing him you are disrupting him mm -hmm. you are a distraction mm -hmm. so the woman she bottles up bottles up and then later vents out as something very 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 toxic yeah. i think it's something that men need to learn mm -hmm. that women speak many words more than men mm -hmm. and when a man is not listened to when a woman is not listened to she will still go out and speak those things that are very private to you, mm. to, to you as a family, because mm. she has to speak out to get another space for others. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but now most men ignore that and they think it's a thing of a woman, a mm. peleke wa mama wengine. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you find you are frustrating this woman emotionally. Yeah. You, your wife wants that attention when you come. Yeah. You hug her. You are too busy. Umeenda uku, umeenda kuangalia wanyama, umeenda wapi. So someone is wondering. When your mind is, is to the animals, not to me. See, first of all, come to me, say hi. Like, mm. you find most men will go, first of all, go to the compound, get to know everything, then come to you, and you're like, okay. So that is what matters to you, mm. not me. You even don't want to know how I've been the whole day. <laughs> so for the men, yeah. he's living his world. Yeah. You get that, the world of men. Mm -hmm. and they have no problem. But to the woman, a woman is a very relational being. Mm -hmm. Because for a man, he deals with the logic and fact. Mm -hmm. Logic and fact. But for a woman, is a relational being. So every man mm -hmm. must create must create a, a, would I say, a faculty within themselves mm -hmm. to give a wife, their wife attention. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying there are five things that are very important to a, to a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Both even men love that. Yeah. But women have a higher degree of craving for it mm -hmm. and desiring for it. Mm -hmm. Number one, every wife needs in communication. You need to appreciate your wife. Appreciate her for even small things. Even mm -hmm. great things, even things that you feel she's still struggling with, appreciate her. For example, your wife could be having a challenge of making the bed. The day, the day she makes bed, because it wasn't in her, <laughs> congratulate her, tell her, wow, this is well done. Yes. You know, so that she, keep, she keeps feeling motivated. Mm. And there is a, a myth that if you, if you appreciate your wife, at a ringa, you know, at a, at a, at a kuwa na kiburi, no. The more you appreciate a woman, yeah. the more she appreciates in value. Mm. That's the way she is. And the more mm. she feels she wants to do that thing, wow. the more. So appreciation can be different times. Even after sex, tell her thank you. Mm. <laughs> tell each other thank you. <laughs> not only her, even him. Even should, him. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it no. should be both sides, not yeah. only one-sided. But appreciation is very important. When shopping is done, you know, when a bill is paid, when something is done, learn the person who initiated that. Mm. And even if I'm the one who gave, but my husband took over, I should tell him thank you very much for, for making this thing beautiful. I think I love this. I suppose we can do this, you know, but having appreciated. So appreciation, I think, is an attitude of the mind and the heart. Mm. And you see, someone who cannot be able to appreciate the husband and a wife, they are not, they are not good in appreciating God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't appreciate the one you, you can, can see. see. 
what about the one who you will find that amungu akumbuki ni nini alimwambia asante the the eye and the mind is on the side that the, of the things that god has not done so precision is very important another thing in communication is affirmation affirm somebody for who they are i love you my wife the way you are However, if you could do a little bit of gym and takusaidia hiyo tumbo iingie ndani ni sawa, but you have already appreciated mm. me. I, I I I I appreciate you for your wisdom. I appreciate you for articulation. Mm. All these things. Affirmation is very 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 important. Mm. You affirm somebody for who they are. Mm. You get that. Eh? Another thing that is very important is affection. Love is communicated. Wow. All these things are things that can be communicated. Mm -hmm. The affection. You, you, you tell them that you love them. You need them. You care. You feel that you can't do life without mm -hmm. them. You know, that affection is very important. And when it is said eye to eye, mm -hmm. you know, eye mm -hmm. to eye, bow, you feel so uh, strengthened from within and you feel you have such a great support system. Mm -hmm. So affection is also part of the communication that must be there. Another thing that must be given to every one of us is attention. Mm -hmm. You know, attention, you know, giving someone attention. If they need attention, be there for them. Like the way you're saying, you can go with something and Salano will stop doing anything and first of all listen to you. Mm -hmm. Only that now the conversation mm -hmm. goes for a very long time mm -hmm. and we assume he was not doing something important. <laughs> but uh, all the same, he has, he has to pop up. Yes. He has to pop up. But mm -hmm. Because now if he stops at the middle, he might yes. destroy all what he has done. Yeah. So uh, that patience is also very important and mm -hmm. also being timely. You know, another thing is uh, the last A is allowing your your husband and your wife to be. Mm. Yeah, mm. don't have a what to I say? Don't have a mindset that tells you mm. No, 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 no. Let him be. Let him make mistakes as a as as your husband, as your wife. Some things are learned through mistakes. Yes. Mm. And the more someone makes a mistake, the better they become. Because they know this one does not work, mm. this one work, this one does not work. You're able to do your own personal uh, checklist and assessment and you're able to know this one does not work. So mm. you allow your partner to be. Mm. Probably, probably what would I say, you, my, my, your wife may not be eloquent. Mm. She's, not, she's not good in, in public speaking. Mm. But allow her to be. Compliment her. That's mm. what I mean. You compliment her without telling her, you hmm? Uh, at, uh, me, I knew that you were a mess too. <laughs> <laughs> you were a choma, you were a You see now when you tell someone like that, you tear them, yeah. their self-esteem. Mm. You get that. Allow people to be, that's the way. And tell her, I allow you to be. Mm. In fact, what do you want? Yeah, yeah what do you wow. want? You know, allow them to be. When you allow someone to be, they feel free, they feel vulnerable, mm. that they can be able to share anything to you, and that opens up their lives. So when we talk about talking about ourselves, we are talking of all those things. Mm. You affirm the person, you, you talk about, especially feelings, mm. hurting, hurtful feelings and pleasurable feelings. Mm. Share even moments of, of what, what, what you loved mm. about them, something that they did to you and you felt you appreciate. So so uh, that talking about me, I think, is what has been so much ignored mm -hmm. because, number one, you find most of the couples have a lot of unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when, when you have unforgiveness about your husband and your wife, you can't communicate with this person mm. because you feel like you, you want to be toxic. Yeah. You want to, to, to hurt them back. Mm. There's that revenge, spirit of revenge. revenge. Mm. You get that. So unforgiveness has really hindered communication between a husband and a wife. Because now there's something that he did 2000, and uh, and then again he repeated uh, 203, then again 206, then again 209, then again 2020. You know, and I have this pile. You get that? Eh? So unforgiveness, and that's why the Bible Jesus was very categorical and he said that we need to forgive people 70 times seven. Eh, that means yeah. after every four seconds, mm. in 24 hours, you're supposed to forgive your partner, mm. so that mm. God can forgive you. After every, every four, four seconds. seconds, one, two, wow. three, four. I you suppose they forgive you? Four mm. seconds. Four seconds. <laughs> yeah. Four seconds. Wow. Yeah. So that now, why, why was, why did Jesus emphasize mm. so much about uh, forgiveness? Because when there is unforgiveness between us, that alone can completely kill our communication. And forgiveness comes with anger mm. and bitterness. Mm. It's like his nikama cousins. Mm. You get Revenge. that? Eh? Mm. Revenge. Mm. 